have time. Fuck it. I don't have this. Fuck it. I don't want to be seeing you complaining. There is much more to be, do, to be done. The internet has given every single person opportunity. So don't tell me that I don't have book, I don't have this, I don't have that. Fuck your excuses and start doing. Okay, so there is no excuses anymore. Why is not being done and like this and that? Now, today we're talking about quant network. What is quant network and all that? Now, I brought that video to tell you that um, there's, there is no single reason why blockchain should not be used today. The blockchain is 10 years old from when the paper was released in 2008 up to today. So, uh, uh, 10 years old, right? So, there is no excuse. Every excuse is fucked up. Why blockchain should not be used. When we do have a lot of things like people, if people have know about technology, everybody wants to ask themselves like, how do I enrich myself from it and all that. All right? There are many reasons to that. Today, I want to bring a platform to you that will not only connect different blockchain together, but also seeks to connect the internet to the blockchain. And not only that, this is a platform that is also seeking to bring institutions or enterprise into the blockchain domain now they're not just bringing it into the blockchain domain in terms of investing but this platform is actually going in the enterprise way to actually onboard enterprise into the system as we'll be going through uh, this stuff for so that you can see so what are the challenges of today blockchain i told you that there is no single reason why blockchains to, uh, should not be fully used today just that the, uh, there are people who have not been able to build the systems but Quant network is seeking to be one of them. Now you already know today uh, blockchain pro uh, problems, but one of the major one you can see today is the issue of um, interoperability and the issue of um, people building proprietary blockchain. What that means is that um, now this you have, for example, uh, you kind of you have Twitter, and then you have uh, YouTube. Now you can paste a link from Twitter. And it's going to work on YouTube. Sorry, you can paste a link from uh, on YouTube, and it's going to work on Twitter. Sorry, right? So, but with blockchain, why is it that you cannot run a smart contract that is on Ethereum on Hyperledger? Why is it that you cannot do what you cannot what is working in Ethereum cannot work on Ripple? It cannot work on this. That is one of the major problems, and that is what uh, Quant Network wants to do. So, Quant Network wants to be. Let me write it here so that you actually understand. Just like you have Android and Play Store. So, so this concept you are seeing, the concept of uh, uh, multiple or multi-chain applications and then the issue of Quant Lab. What uh, Quant Network wants to do, Quant Network wants to be a system that enables the running of all these applications. So if you build an application on Quant Network, which is the operating system now, you can be very sure that it's gonna run any blockchain. And then you as an app, you as an app developer, you can actually build these systems and you know fully well that there is an app store, just like you have the, the iPhone uh, app store or you have the uh, Google Play Store where people can actually get access to your app. That is a very, very cool concept. And then the next thing I'm explaining is the issue of end-to-end -end interoperability. What that means is not, uh, unlike many of these platforms that are building um, a kind of interoperability layer where you have to search it, you, you, you want to work with this, uh, 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 this, this kind of option where, okay, you are constrained to actually use those kind of, uh, okay, you are working with Bitcoin, therefore you are required to buy Bitcoin, no. What the system will do, you want to bring in a system where if you are executing a kind of better contract, maybe in terms of uh, enterprise world or whatever, and maybe you are dealing with someone someone in uh, using Ethereum, an enterprise using Ethereum, then there is another enterprise using Bitcoin, and then there's another enterprise using you and all that. What the system wants to do, you want to bring in a system where you can connect all of them end to end. With hearts going to buy you know, without going to buy Ethereum, without going to buy this. That is one of the things they want to do. And that makes 
them to a very unique. Now, I told you this is the this will be the first video, and then another thing again is it allows you to manage your fees as you can change your blockchain uh, choice. What that means is, let's say for example there is a uh, volatility in the market, and maybe you were planning to use Ethereum for example, and then you discover that the price of Ethereum has actually increased. What do you do? You can switch to any blockchain of your choice that you know maybe it's cheaper and you can use for yourself. And the amazing thing is that they already have an MVP and they are as you can as as you see um, uh, below they are in talks with banks, law enforcement agency and that are actually interested in this stuff. And I think this week they are planning to release some other info about some customers and that. And one of the things that they are actually researching and seeking to do soon after connecting um, blockchain to blockchain everything is here after seeking to connect blockchain to blockchain and all that one of the things they are seeking to do is how do we connect the blockchain to the internet yeah how do we connect the blockchain to the internet now if you if you really look carefully one of the platforms that actually uses the internet per se that is it's, I think one of the major ones is Steam. It. Apart from Steam, I can't really fathom out any blockchain that is that you are assessed that is that is connecting the internet with the blockchain. You know, the thing. Most of them is just little application, but this system also connects out as a bridge between the internet and the blockchain. And then there is this stuff, uh, the concept of a uh, blockchain factory. So you already know what a factory is. So a factory is basically kind of place where uh, you have kind of raw materials and then you can process them into finished products or semi-finished products depending on what you want to do. So what this uh, they are seeking to do is, okay, we have a kind of concept, we have ideas, we have whatsoever. The blockchain factory they are seeking to do uh, the, with their partner is those that have, oh, I have a need, I want to do this, I want to be supply chain, I want to do this in this and that. With their, uh, with, with their uh, factory, they'll be able to turn it from an idea up to a workable solution. So I think that they are in talks with some banks and then law enforcement agency and other institutions. And then the revenue, uh, the revenue model. So the revenue model is basically from uh, the tokens, the utility of the tokens. So because people need the token to actually use the system they will actually use the token to actually access the system and that is what is going to uh, uh, give revenue as people spend and all that. Just like you have a thing on where for a transaction or a smart contract to execute, you have to have gas also new and all that. Now, one of the things I like about the smart home is that they are actually focusing more on, not, not really more, I won't say, but they are trying to balance things up, but they are focusing on Institutional, institutional and enterprise, not just investors. They're focusing on those who actually use that product. If you look at many of these platforms today, they are focusing more on investors or those who buy that tokens, which is good. But if it's not to the extreme, it becomes bad. And all that. Now, there is this on uh, on the fourteenth of May. There are uh, there will be this. Uh, I also event where you will see uh, participants from four, uh, 46 different countries will be coming to come and discuss uh, standards on the blockchain and Point Network will be part of them. So that is a very, very uh, amazing one. Now, uh, a few days ago, I think yesterday, when I, I in Balina was hacked, the lot of people were, who were talking about, um, oh, you should get your leisure wallet and all that. But there are a few things that people don't really um, talk about, like most of their blockchain products or projects or whatsoever. There are no standards. People just it, it, it's it's even let's 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 uh let's be there are no standards. That's why if you look at the cryptocurrency market today, there are no uh, there are no there are little to no standards, but regulations are coming in. There are times when you will search for some coins here now. And you will discover that these coins don't even have a website. So, yeah, uh, they will be joining other other uh, other people from different parts of the world, from different enterprises, to be discussing uh, ISO standards on on the blockchain. And it's going to be very very well. It's going to be very very good. 
okay, and talks with EU and other banks and all that. And the another thing again about this platform is that they have one of the best enterprise based blockchain team in the world. Yeah. So if you go through the team, you have one of the best people from who have worked in corporate institutions like banks, um, different parts and all that. They have one of the best teams in the world. I'm telling you. So you, you, can, you can check out the team later and let's not make this video um, very, very um, big. And then the marketing strategy, the marketing strategy that actually you focusing on, they're focusing on two sides. They're focusing on the consumer, uh, the, uh, the consumer front, then the enterprise wise. What that means is, okay, a kind of consumer, yeah, maybe those who are in, in small to medium enterprise, or those who are involved in one of or the other, and need to incorporate blockchain into their uh, day to day running of that business, they'll be, uh, they be focusing on, on, on that also. And they're also focusing on institutions, maybe government institutions, uh, big businesses like banks, uh, insurance. And many other institutions and actually engage them. Now, there is something that their approach will be on engagement and then education wise. Now, there are many uh, for, for this um, consumer front and then enterprise, is there are some of them that are okay. How how I will I put this? Like, there are three of them. We have those who know about blockchain, but I'm not using blockchain. We have those who are using blockchain, but uh, maybe are having more problems or the other with kind of blockchain. And then you have those that don't know about blockchain. So three stops. There are those that know and are doing nothing about it. They're not taking any step. And then there are those that don't know. Then there are those who are already in use but are having problems. So they will be at different level. That's why they will be uh, having the. That's why they will have the the blockchain uh, factory. You know that now what we'll be doing just like if you know one of the sources of um, why I think one of the major sources of Binance as a cryptocurrency exchange is that from my opinion I see maybe they offer things like referral good but if you look at one of the things about uh, Binance if for coins to be listed there is this monthly vote here people actually vote for if a coin should be listed on Binance and all that and you know that uh, before a coin is listed on Binance, it has a kind of community, people want that coin to be listed and all that. So what they will be doing is they will connect first the first generation of blockchains, things like uh platforms like uh new um Ethereum and all, all these platforms, and then later we will start connecting other um, enterprise those that are blockchain and non-blockchain platforms like IOTA and Cardano and all these other platforms. So as you see from my screen, it will be according to demand and then community. And then the next thing again is on 25th of June, 25th of June there will be the token release and then then the say will be that it is over, the ICO is over, the the ICO, the ICO will be April, uh, April the ICO, ICO date. I said it is actually from um, 2nd to 30th April 2018. So that would be the ICU date. So 20th of June, they will release this stuff. And then the issue of exchanges. So for now, they are not really focusing more on exchanges, though that does not mean they, are not, they will not be going after exchanges, but they are actually focusing on getting the products, not just getting their products ready, but getting people who actually use the products. Then they have a solution. I don't really know if I want to it out, right? Um, it's called Sentry. So Sentry, it's a uh, product that actually developed that are using on their ICO currently. That it's like kind of smart contract that helps for easy onboarding and the KYC processes and all that. And it's high, uh, high it has high compliance and all that. So that is um, this is my first video on Quant. So I'll be giving you updates on the platform and all that. So guys, always remember that this is not a financial advice and always do your own research. Have a very good day.